I think Christmas can be such a wonderful, joyful, happy, one marvellous time. But for many parents, and I think particularly mothers, it's actually something that we dread. Because we look back and we think, oh, last Christmas was wonderful, Christmases that I had when I was a child were wonderful. I've got to deliver that to my children. I've got to make Christmas as marvellous, if not more marvellous, and it's just a mountain to climb. Now, for a start, I think what you need to do is realise that sometimes you look back, you edit out the arguments, the quarrels, the times when it went wrong, the boring bits. You only remember the good bits, so that the view you have, and therefore the expectation you've put on yourself, is actually quite unrealistic. So for a start, relax and recognise that Christmas wasn't always wonderful. Um, what you're aiming for is a good enough Christmas. And the, the, if you lower the bar, you're more likely to actually be able to come up to it. And it's not just you. It's not your job as mum or as parent to deliver this to everybody who comes to your house. It's actually a cooperative effort. So for a start, it's sharing around the chores. If you have family who are coming to join you for Christmas lunch, um, you know, start off by actually sort of working out, okay, what do we need? Brussels sprouts, turkey, whatever. You bring this, you bring that, you bring the other. Talk with them. And you'll often find that people are absolutely delighted to make a contribution to the Christmas dinner. They only didn't offer because they thought you'd be insulted. And actually, what they want to be part of it as well. And that's one way of doing it. So share around the contributions to that day. And share around the work. Um, after you've had the meal, just you walk into the living room, hand over a tea towel and say, you're washing up and you're doing this. Again, if you make an assumption that everybody will join in, they'll actually more than likely be very pleased to do so. And in your house as well, everybody has their chore and recognise very strongly that, you know, you're not going to pick up the pieces. If the Brussels sprouts don't arrive on the table and they were somebody else's responsibility, they don't arrive on the table and that's their fault, not yours. And I think if people feel responsible for things, um, and part of it actually it enhances their experience rather than making them feel that they've been left out or, you know, they've got to be the recipients of you're doing everything, which actually can make people feel, you know, almost a little bit resentful. They enjoy it if they're part of it. So it's lowering the expectation, it's sharing everything, everything around, it's recognising that there will be moments when perhaps everybody wants to go off into a different room. You don't have to stay together all the time. Um, you know, let kids go off and ring their friends. Um, you know, you allow yourself to go off and have 10 minutes in, in the bedroom on your own with your feet up, um, having a bit of a rest. That's okay, because then you'll all come back together at parts of the day or parts of the, the weekend and really enjoy yourselves. And it's that bit of pre-planning. If you planned it a little bit ahead of time, if you've been a little bit more relaxed and shared things around, I think you'll find you have a much better time.